This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you on location from ITW 2017, and I am here with my friend, Mr. Mike Jonas. And I call you friend only because we've done this a couple of times before. Once or twice. Yes, Mike, and I, and because you have a longer title, I'm going to go ahead and read it. Mike is the president of Global Customer Operations for Light River. Mike, thanks for being with us today. We appreciate it. Uh, my pleasure. Good to see you again. Outstanding. Good to see you as well. Um, and so why don't you, let's start with the, the really good stuff. Why don't you tell our, uh, you've been very busy already in 2017. Oh my. Lots going on there. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that. Well, 17 was planned to be a year of growth, mm -hmm. and the reality is matching up. So we're Congratulations. <laughs> lucky enough to say we're having growth in all sectors. Uh, all of our customers are growing, mm -hmm. and um, there's no lack of work, and there's no lack of challenge, but um, really the, uh, the way technology has been evolving the last couple of years is set up perfectly for 17, 18, 19 for a lot of people to improve their networks. Yeah. Both from a capacity point of view and a manageability point of view, but you know, as we all saw in the news over the weekend, <laughs> from the security point of view as well. Of course, of course. Well, well uh, let's go off script. Why don't we talk a little bit about the security point of view as well? With obviously with the the ransomware attacks and things like that, um, what is it that uh, that you folks can provide? What kind of peace of mind might you give to your customers? Well, so as you know, we've been spending a good deal of time and effort on the software defined networking, yes. on virtual network functions, and one of the areas we had honed in on over the last year has been in this notion of uh, virtual security appliances, mm -hmm. and we'll be announcing some partnerships there and some successes there. Um, by, uh, by happenstance, some of the announcements we're going to make coincide with uh, the recent uh, WannaCry attacks, but uh, this is an and area... you can't tell me anything about this stuff yet, can you? No, it'll have to be the next time we talk. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> but it's a, it's a real issue, and um, to Light River, mm -hmm. the, the, the virtual application that aligns most strongly with our brand, which is quality, which is resiliency, which is predictability, mm -hmm. is that of security. So if we're going to spend a lot of time working on virtual applications, virtual features that our clients can benefit from, we decided to start on security. Good call, good call. Um, let's talk about partnerships a little bit, mm -hmm. I, and I'm going to read this. Way. The, you are recently uh, collaborating with the Telcom Infra project yes. um, with uh, with the likes of Facebook and some others. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that uh, partnership? Well, you bet. I mean, the the growth in capacity needs on the planet is, is something that's been difficult to even measure, mm -hmm. let alone predict. And so we have been pushing the envelope on what is possible with traditional orthodoxy and how do you build a network, how do you design a network, how do you run a network. And Facebook and, and others have decided to embark on an effort to look at something outside the traditional orthodoxy. What is it we can do differently? How can we do something differently? Can we disaggregate these networks? Can we make parts of the network easier? Can we bring more people into optical networking such that we can broaden the base mm -hmm. of what's mm -hmm. possible? And uh, Light River has uh, 20 years as a vendor neutral integrator. Um, we have a little bit uh, of, of background in trying to get different products to work together and trying to make them simpler to run and in trying to uh, to ease the transition for uh, for our clients from at legacy technology to a next generation. So uh, we're thrilled to be part of it, and um, we are looking at as many ways as we can to make it easier to put wireless uh, and optical networking uh, and higher capacity in the hands of more people in, in a broader footprint. Very cool, Mike. So um, you mentioned your customers a little bit in the response to that, that last question. You guys have a variety of different customers, but among uh, growing lists of customers are um, the utilities. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about um, your utility partnerships and, uh, and what it is that you provide for, uh, for, that, for that group? Well, our customer base has one thing in common, and that is that they need uh, high resiliency, highly secure, highly predictable networks. Mm -hmm. We started the company 20 years ago building those networks for utilities. So it's always been a history of adapting the technology to fit the needs of our customers, mm -hmm. not trying to fit their needs into the existing technology. And, mm -hmm. and so utilities have been an area where we have historically designed, developed, and deployed the best in um, technology for their particular needs. I mean, that's a sector where subject matter expertise and credibility yeah. are paramount. Yeah. 
And so, you know, because of our long commitment and, and long history of success in that, in that sector, we've been fortunate enough to participate in multiple technology shifts over the years. Mm -hmm. And another one of those is going on right now. So more capacity. They are adopting DWDM in a big yes. way. They are adopting Ethernet in a big way. They are looking at some of the virtual network functions. And um, believe it or not, they're a lot more forward thinking on some of the software defined uh, network applications really? than you might think. Huh. Outstanding. Okay, so you're actually providing segues better for me better than I could possibly for myself. Um, we were talking about the future just mm -hmm. a second ago. Let's get the crystal ball out, and I want you to tell our viewers a little bit about what they might uh, expect to see from you folks, uh, say, over the next year or two. Yeah, you bet. So uh, we have been investing heavily in software relationships and software development and in identifying those amongst the hundreds of possible applications, mm -hmm. those that are going to benefit our customers most. And you're going to begin seeing uh, evidence of success uh, in, in partnerships, evidence of success in deployments, and um, some real-world, uh, readily available opportunity for transport orchestration that will be deliverable later this year. Oh, and very cool. These are all ways to help our customers get the most out of the networks they mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, high capacity, we have more fiber than ever, we have more bandwidth available than ever, but you've got to optimize that. You just can't keep sure. throwing money at it, and, uh, and, and we believe that, and uh, we're helping our customers to understand that, and uh, we'll be sharing with you some of the successes they had uh, as the year goes on. I'm looking forward to hearing more about it. Well, let's do this again, okay? We'll do it. We'll see you soon. Mike, thank you very much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Good to see you, Dan. You got it. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We will see you soon. Thank you.